The company that brought us the iPod, iPhone, and iPad now has an answer to the likes of Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. But as you might expect, Apple's take on a video streaming service is a little bit, well, different from what you might be used to. Here's everything you need to know about Apple TV+. Plus. Let's start with the basics. Apple TV Plus is a video on demand online streaming service that launched November 1st, 2019. Unlike Netflix and Amazon, which have like thousands of shows and movies to watch, Apple TV Plus started small with nine titles, which we'll talk a little bit about later. There are five more titles expected to launch soon, which will bring the total to 14. Now, many of those titles are actually TV series or ongoing TV shows, so there are of course multiple episodes to enjoy. It's not like you'll watch nine things and be done. As of right now, the service is available in more than 100 countries, and most of its content is available in 4K HDR and Dolby Vision. Most titles also offer Dolby Atmos sound. Now, how much does Apple TV Plus cost? Well, that kind of depends. The basic rate for Apple TV Plus is $5 a month, which is definitely lower than most streaming services, but again, the amount of content on offer is lower as well. There are a few ways you can get Apple TV Plus for free, for a limited time, of course. One way is to go buy or have bought an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Apple TV, or Mac on or after September 10th. If you did, then you get one free year of Apple TV Plus. By the way, it doesn't matter if you bought one of those devices new or refurbished from Apple directly or from authorized resellers. Another way to get it for free is to be enrolled in Apple Music's student discount plan, which folds Apple TV Plus in with Apple Music for no additional cost, which by the way is five bucks. There are also rumors that Apple may come up with some more bundled service deals down the road, but nothing's been confirmed yet. One tricky thing you should be aware of though, if you're eligible for that free year, you should know that your card will be charged as soon as that free year is up and you can't cancel in advance. In fact, if you do cancel, your access is immediately terminated. You don't get to like finish off the month or anything. So you might wanna set a reminder to cancel on a certain day if you don't want your card charged in a year or so. The free access is tied to your app ID. So if you made a qualifying purchase, then you already have access. So how do you watch? Well, you've got to watch Apple TV Plus through the Apple TV app, and that comes pre-installed on Apple devices. But you can also watch on a Safari, Chrome, or Firefox web browser on your computer. Outside of Apple devices, the Apple TV app is currently available on Samsung smart TVs, right in the menu, and it'll be coming soon to newer Vizio, Sony, and LG TVs. There is a workaround though. If your smart TV supports AirPlay 2, and many now do, you can access Apple TV Plus from your Apple mobile device and launch the title on your TV. Android users are at a disadvantage here as they've got to watch using a web browser on their phone or tablet. There's another wrinkle to how you watch as well. Apple TV Plus doesn't do the binge thing. Unlike Netflix, which typically releases all episodes of a series at once so you can blast through the show as quickly or slowly as you like, Apple TV Plus releases episodes one at a time, kind of like traditional TV. So how's it look and sound? Well, I've got really good news on that front. Apple TV Plus content looks and sounds excellent. Flat Panel's HD editor Rasmus Larsson measured the bit rate of some Apple TV Plus shows and got some seriously impressive numbers. HDR and Dolby Vision really make the image pop off the screen, and having Dolby Atmos surround sound on nearly every title is also a big bonus for home theater enthusiasts. So what can you watch? Well, right now, the most popular title on Apple TV Plus seems to be The Morning Show. It's a drama series about a morning news broadcast which stars Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, and Steve Carell. Yeah, those are some big names, and the budget is big as well. That's kind of a theme with these Apple TV Plus original titles. There's also C, a post-apocalyptic thriller starring Aquaman's Jason Momoa, which is meeting with mixed reviews. For All Mankind, which is an interesting sci-fi show about what it would be like if the international space race never quit. Ghost Rider, a show oriented towards kids. And Snoopy in Space, which as you can imagine, features the lovable Peanuts character. Then there's Oprah's Book Club, which is likely to draw tons of attention to Apple TV Plus because Oprah! Jokes aside, Apple TV Plus appears to cover the genres pretty well. 
from documentaries to dramas to sci-fi to kids shows. And there's at least five more pieces coming from directors like M. Night Shyamalan and starring actors like Samuel L. Jackson. Down the road, we can expect to see a new version of Amazing Stories, helmed by none other than Steven Spielberg, as well as a comedy from some of the folks behind It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So while Apple TV Plus doesn't have a ton of content on the outset, they're really covering their bases well just to get started. And as time goes by, I'm sure they're going to add much more. Folks, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about Apple TV Plus down in the comments. Is this a streaming service that you're going to get? Are you interested? Or is it just another one to distract you from all the other apps you're already wrangling with? Let us know down in the comments. Please like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And as always, come to digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.